It's Wednesday the 14th of June around 11.30 and I'm already tired. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's still really hot even though we have a breeze today unlike yesterday and I think after three days of not really sleeping properly I just feel like everything's an effort and yeah not sleeping well because of the amount of lung medication I've had to take during the night because it's been so humid and there's a lot of stuff in it that wakes you up and keeps you alert and then obviously my painkillers and sleeping tablets are counteracting that but they are not enough to keep me asleep um so today is going to be hard I've got BSL later in the afternoon for an hour and a half so I have to somehow wake myself up for an hour and a half of tuition there's no audio so literally you have to keep your eyes on your tutor and your classmates at all times to recognise signs and recognise what's happening and when the activity's ended and when we're moving on and when we're looking at PowerPoint or when we're going into the breakout room. So there's a lot there's a lot going on in that hour and a half. One of the rules is you stay muted and my teacher is deaf so if you don't get a sign or you don't know a sign to sign to him you have to be prepared to, to type um and my brain just feels like you know like that really like wet mushy moss that you get on tree stumps that's what it feels like and my lungs feel like just tired okay it's about an hour later now do i feel more awake no is the short answer um my gripe for the day is going to be these dear whoever makes the latest batch of lateral flow tests for covid19 um I'm classed as extremely medically vulnerable to COVID-19 and I'm on my last pack of free tests because now you have to pay for them. Um, and it just, the reason why I tested is it clocked that um, last week, at the end of last week, I took the train for the first time since COVID came and even though I should be exempt from wearing a mask, I wouldn't recommend this if you are exempt. Check with your doctor or health team or a asthma nurse or whoever is your primary care provider. Um, I have found masks that I can wear, that I can breathe in, it's taken it took me quite a while. I didn't know there were different types or anything. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Um, that person on the motorbike then, that's slightly worrying piece of driving. Um, so, um, and even though I wore my mask on the train all the way there and then wore a fresh mask on the way back, I know nothing is foolproof and I have a very weak immune system so I was like let me go test find out that you need two of these which is the liquid that you put in the holder to dip the swab in um because the liquid has been so instead of filling it up to like near the top here about here is is now I mean I know this one is empty but it's now like less than half so i did my swab gagging as it went um because in order to do it properly you have to do tonsils as well um and one vial did not cover 
the whole swab. So now I've wasted two vials on one test because I'm negative. <laughs> <coughs> Thank goodness. But I now don't have enough to do another test, potentially, because if the last vial isn't filled up to, like, probably about here, it won't take the swab because they're longer now. Like, not only do I have to pay in order to be socially responsible now, from now on, but... Like, do two of these, really? It's a bit of an insult, really, isn't it? I am sweating. Oh. I've just done an hour and a half of BSL for... <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> Can you see the sweat in my hair? It's not attractive. Oh, the speed we were going so Honestly. <coughs> uh, my back hurts so much from trying to like move backwards and forwards uh, to get in the camera shot and then I had to say, oh, I'm sorry, my lip reading is bad because I, I totally mistook a word for another word we're learning lots of new signs. Um, and there's just so much to remember, like the order's really difficult. Okay, so I've got an hour um, until a carer arrives and I'm just trying to think like, what can I do, pardon me, that will make me feel like I've achieved something worthwhile in that hour because the hour just, flies by um and one thing that helps me think is listening to music so i'm just gonna ask alexa to play me something um what can i ask her okay here's hilo sorry i did not understand your response <laughs> you currently have 100 coins how many coins do you want to wager my goodness, she's encouraging me to bet and I didn't say anything. Oh gosh. I forgot the wake word. <laughs> that was free. You have 100 coins. Please tell me how many coins you would like to wager. None. Say, None. To St quit. Stop. Thank you for playing high low. You ended the game with 100 coins. You did not make it to the high scores <laughs> list. Please play again soon. Is Hilo? <laughs> I'm really freaked out now. <laughs> okay. Can somebody please tell me in the comments what I mean? <laughs> I am not going to Google that because that is going to take an hour to figure out, like, where did that even come from? All I use her for is to play me music, and then when I'm not using her, she's off. Because this is not the first time she's... She's randomly thought that I wanted to, like, buy stuff or do stuff that I never said. Oh, I'm, I'm freaked out now. Okay, let's see. I'm going to actually ask her a question, see if she knows this. Alexa, how many women in the UK have PhDs compared to men? From exeter.ac.uk, women make up about half of PhD students in the UK and other Western countries, but female doctoral graduates are underrepresented in senior positions and have lower earnings compared to their male counterparts within and outside academia. Does that surprise you? It doesn't me. When the rain fall down, I just stand out my window, dreaming of what could be. And if I end up happy, I would pray. Okay, considering what's just happened, 
anybody else remember this song? Alexa, play Punk Rocker by Sandy Tom. Please, I wish I was a punk rocker by Sandy Tom. Listen for the I irony. Oh, I wish I was a punk rocker with flowers in my hair. In 77 and 69, revolution was in the air. I was born too late into a world that doesn't care. Oh, I wish I was a punk rocker with flowers in my hair. When the head of state couldn't play guitar, not everybody drove a car. When music really mattered and when radio was king. When accountants didn't have control and the media couldn't buy your soul. When computers were so scary and we didn't know everything. Oh, I wish I was a punk rocker with flowers in Okay, I know my signing was a mess at the end, and I know that, yes, my hair is a mess, but it is 29 degrees, and um, I just had to do that. <laughs> um, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.